Well, we're well fed, ate a great sandwich, and now we're back with expert pumpkin carver, Gene Granada. And Gene is going to show us how to carve a pumpkin using his tips and tools. Even those of us who, well, I'm a little bit artistic. I'm not. Like, okay, I, I tried this, Gene. I get a hack job every single time. And yeah. I, I look at it, the thing must have just caved in on it. So. But it's a true art. I mean, it's some of these things are extraordinary when they're lit up, and I, I wish I knew how to do it. But now. How did you become an expert at this? Well, you know, if you do one or 200 pumpkins a year, you'd be an expert. Too. Wow. But did you, how did you come about doing that many? Was it something that you just started practicing? Did people see yours in front of your house and go, would you do mine? Well, this is the one we were just working on, right? Uh huh. Yeah. All right. So imagine this is a business card. It goes out into the world and people see it and they want one like it or learn how to do it and uh, they'll get a hold of you. And they'll, they'll find, find you. you. Well, they'll Absolutely. Find you. Uh, how long have you been doing this? Uh, well, I've been carving pumpkins since I was about that tall and oh. uh, professionally for about 15 years. Do you need professional tools to do this? You know what? Tools really help a lot, Christina. And the favorite tools that I have here are Pumpkin Masters carving kits. They have everything you need in there. They're available in all the major retail outlets, Safeway, Target, Walmart. And everything you need is in there. All the pictures that you see are included in the oh, kit. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. So you go to the pumpkin patch or you grow your own, and you're standing in there and there's oodles and oodles of these. How do you begin figuring out, well, I want this one. My kids always want the big one, and I'm doing that. But, right. But, you know. That's because you... they're not carrying it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, how do you pick the right one? Well, I'll tell you what. Let me just show you over here real quick. Um, my personal favorites are the pumpkins with character. Okay. Now, character can mean a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It could be a fancy stem, which this doesn't have. Mm -hmm. You got a nice surface texture here, lumpy or bumpy. Or it could be the shape of the pumpkin or the posture of the pumpkin. Right. Any, any of those qualities will help complement your design. But yeah. uh, when you see this, I just see this and be like, oh, that's, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's not my... everybody likes the smooth one, but yeah. that, that'll look like a creepy face. What do you face. see when you see this? I see a creepy, crackly, you, scary face. That's the point. Yeah. And, and you actually, both of you hit it right on. I thought of the same thing when I saw this, was a scary face. You know, it's, it's got the texture. It's different. Mm. Anything that you can get to make people look twice at your pumpkin, that's what makes you get a masterful pumpkin. Looks like I have a very severe case of acne. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Perfect. Well, okay. uh, you should see the other side. It's all green, too. Okay. Well, I notice uh, that this one doesn't have a bottom to it. What's, what's the purpose of that? Ah. Well, when you cut the bottom out of the pumpkin, mm. that makes all the stringy stuff come out with it. So I did that oh, one earlier today and I saved I it for you. So you guys that. can have that. Well, you way. started from the bottom. Yeah. And you go that way, you don't do the top. Right. Uh -huh. And then and that way, when you light them up, you put it right over the top of your light source, oh. and it sits nice and even, doesn't tip over. Oh, why did I think of that? That's the easiest thing. All these thing. years, I've been I've doing been it I've been carving wrong. it from the top, and your hand goes in. Or the top yeah. falls in. Right? Yeah, and the top right. falls in. Um, yeah. what, okay, so how do you get, you see these patterns that you've shown us. How do right. you, are you a drawer, an artist? To Well, I help design a lot of them, but uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to actually carve from stencils. So okay. that's what they're called. So stencil. Stencil is our first clue word for our fun Jet Dream Vacation sweepstakes. Remember stencil, another one, and then you can race off to our website and register. Sorry, Jean. Christina? No, I'm just curious. Hang on. I know, I know, I know I'm, I'm excited, but... Because you got little dots here, and I... Okay, that's we'll right. get that over that's there. That's okay, right. Let me show I'm you so how excited. they got there. Okay. All right, so I've got a stencil on here, and the way I got it taped on here like this, I put little cuts in the page, uh -huh. and I just pleat them over, and then put a piece of tape on there. And that's okay. how you get this thing to stay in place. Okay. All right, now the dots that you saw, Christina, came from a little poking tool that comes in the kit. Oh. And what we're trying to do is transfer this design to the pumpkin face. And so by driving the little tool over there, it leaves a series of dots behind everywhere you did that. When you peel this off, right. you know where to go with your carving Absolutely. tool. Absolutely. Oh my God, that's yeah. great. That's so great. they really have all thought right. of everything. All right, so now we've, we advanced. So you've done all that and this is what we have here, right? Well, how do you get from here to here? Yes. You have to get everything out of the inside, right? All right. that stringy yeah. stuff and all that. So we have special tools just for that. Yeah. What we've got here is a tool with teeth. Right. And that takes all the stringy stuff out. Oh. And now okay. the most important part, which I've already taken care of for you, is scraping out the inside. Right. It's really important that this pumpkin wall not be more than about three quarters of an inch thick. Why? Optimal carving. That's what makes them easy to carve. The number one complaint I hear from carvers who struggle uh -huh. is it's too hard. It, it, it bends, it twists, and that's because the wall's too thick. Well, how can you tell if the wall is too thick when you're buying it? Because you don't know when you're buying a pumpkin if this is going to be thicker than that because you can't see it. Okay. 
poke your tool right in an area that you're going to cut out until it sticks out on the bottom, pull it out, that's how thick the wall is. Okay. All right. All right. So let me show you how you use these tools properly. So I've got my little lines here. It's up and down briskly uh -huh. and forwards slowly. Let the saws do the work. Slowly. All right. Oh. Slowly, just follow the lines. Uh -huh. Follow it where it goes. And I have a pumpkin laid out for you right over here, Christina. Now, it's the first time for you, right? Yeah. So I want to see. Let's, let's turn that around so the teeth actually go forward, shall we? It will cut yeah. better that way. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. That was your... All right. So just, there you go, up and down and forward slowly. Now, while you work oh, on that, Mark, um, yep, why don't you but, come on over here and let me show you some alternatives okay. to the actual By carving. The way, th this is fun for the kids because that little device makes it so easy for them. Oh, yeah. And you know what? These kids, uh, kids' kits are great. We got one down there. There's no sharp edges. The mm. saws are perfect for them, and they're easy patterns, so sure. they're ideal for kids. Now, this is a kit that doesn't have any carving. This actually uses a punch tool to go in oh, and wow. put, put holes in the pumpkin, and you just insert it in there like that and pull it out, and it leaves oh, a that's perfect easy. hole. You have a perfect pumpkin every time. Lots of patterns to choose from, so that's called oh, a that's, punch kit. Oh, nice. All right. Now, here's a different style of carving. Look at this. It doesn't, oh, it's like you whittled it. doesn't it. go through. It's yeah. shaved, and it uses a tool called a sculpting tool, and you just drag it along the pumpkin surface, and look at that. Look it how easy right. that is. Wow! So you do that, you end up with a design that heals over. It looks like it's been embossed into the pumpkin, and this will stay looking good for a long time. So you don't time. hollow. If you're going to do this, you don't hollow it out? You don't have to. You don't have to. But you no... can. Okay. Okay. Now, when you're done with your pumpkins, how you doing over there, Christina? <laughs> oh! You're look at that. <laughs> it doesn't look I like it. I didn't you to get that far that fast. Okay, now if oh. you said if you do hollow it out, it's not going to live as long, right? I mean, it's right, kind of, so right. if you want to keep this maybe through Thanksgiving or something, you don't want to hollow it. Is that right? right? Will can, it last that long if you do this kind of carving? Okay. Will. Now, here's another good tip for pumpkins to last a long time. You can use LED operated lights. I They're like cool. the LED. Oh, Instead nice. of candles, candles uh -huh. are not safe. So you want to get a light like that, put it in your pumpkin, and what it'll do is it'll glow real nice and keep your pumpkin looking good longer. Well, we have a picture of that, actually. Look at that. Okay. Wow. So you got this oh. pumpkin right here, which is a Dracula pumpkin and your pumpkin, uh -huh. and we have a nice uh, rolling shot yeah. there of what they look like when they're lit up. And this is a combination of the two techniques, the sculpting so. and the carved through. It really yeah. makes for a striking design. Well, so. all right. Well, Christina, I forgot I'm doing a there? show. I should be paying attention. Well, look what you did. That's what? not bad. Turn. There you go. Yeah, look at there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Very that. nice. Little... Oh, I hear the cat crying. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. So wow, that is so much yeah. fun. All right. One final piece of advice. You want to create a masterful pumpkin or a display? What you want to do is you want to create something memorable. Right? Besides yes. Just the memories of carving. So make a display. Use props. If you make a witch, use a witch's hat. Use a broom. Do groups yeah. of pumpkins. You do I something that. that'll make people remember what you did. Wow. This is so great. And you know, you demystified it for me because I thought that doing this was, it's, you really have to pay attention, but it's a lot easier than I thought oh, it was. Oh, yeah. It, it's a and really it's fun. enjoyable time. All, mm -hmm. all of this stuff, by the way, that Gina's talked about is on our website, hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family. And you can get the information there about where you can find these decorating kits as well. You're Thank the you best so cleaner of is, pumpkins I've ever met. I know. Met. Isn't I told you? Look, I'm, I'm going to try to do one of these. It's, it's, it's such a hack job. It's really uh, hollow in here. Up next, Clean. though, we have nutritionist Danette May. She's here to show us some simple ways from getting sick this winter. We're coming in, Danette. This is cool.